Hello everyone, welcome to my Minecraft video. Now, if I get enough likes, I will show how to build this. It is, as you can see, quite a complex build, but it's it's quite easy. It's quite easy to do once you follow the steps. Um, basically, what it is is I will show you. It is a combination door lock. Now, the reason. I have built this one is well CS so yes, you can go through YouTube and find a lot of combination door locks I've always found when I've built them all to this to the T of following the video following the instructions there's always been a problem whether whether it be you know you could press a couple of the right digits and uh, it didn't really matter what digit you pressed after the door would open or the thing wouldn't be set properly um, I should change the time or you know you could press random buttons and eventually it would just knacker itself up and open anyway or when you went through it the thing wouldn't be set uh, so what I've done is I have built this one uh, it's taken us a while I originally built it on the PlayStation but I've now rebuilt it uh, with upgrades onto the PC uh, so I hope you like it. Yes, like I say, it is quite big, but obviously you've got to remember that this would be all under the ground, and then obviously your house would be on top. But I've built it on top of the ground for the purpose of the video and put a glass floor so we can see. So, anyways, so obviously your doors here. We'll go outside first. Right. So the code for this is one eight nine two. So. One eight nine two. Right, so as you can see, before I go over that button to reset it, it's all powered up, all the switches are powered up. Now, this comes with a lot of safety features, uh, so basically, it can't be messed about with. And there's no way of getting through that door without the right combination. No way at all. It's been extensively tested. So, anyways, once you come through the door, once you've opened it, go over those pads, and it will reset the door. Okay. You can see. So that's all now back to normal. Get out the door again. You just come through over the pad, and the whole thing. You know, it doesn't affect the redstone coming out. So that will stay exactly the same. So, anyways. To explain this, each button, right, so even if you want to press random buttons, the blah de blah de blah, you know, you can hear the piston there, the piston, to put people off of when they actually do press a right button, if they try to guess it and they hear a piston go off, they might think, oh, uh, oh, that must be one of the right buttons. Every button is linked to a piston, so each button you press will activate this piston, which does nothing, just to put people off the scent of getting the right button so anyways no matter what buttons you press even if it's number eight which is one of the buttons the door will not open without putting the right code and so say if I was to press one that then activates this one here at the back as you can see now each button has a safety cut off so this here right if that was powered off, I'll just show you. Just power that off. Right, so that there is now blocking. So this is the safety line. Okay, now without pressing number one first, the first digit, you cannot press number eight because the power, as you can see there, will not get to number eight. Right, so there's the a safety switch for one. So when you press number one, right, I'll just oh, hang on, I'll just show you. Right, so press number one. Number one's powered up. That has then come down. So then. The safety cutoff switch, if you then press one of the wrong buttons, if you want to press say number 7 for example, what that does then is it sends a signal along this line right, and back to number 1 to reset it. 
however it won't send it to number eight because we've not activated number eight yet so as you can see no power is going to get to number eight whatsoever so you've got a you cannot mess it up if you want to press number one twice and try and reset that even though if number eight has been activated it doesn't matter because you press number one again now but the power is not going to get to it because this switch here is a safety cutoff which will stop the power to get into number one to reset it and then mess the whole thing up so each um, digit has two safety switches one to reset if you press the wrong digit so like I was saying if you press the wrong digit that is then going to let the power through only to number one to reset that however it's not going to let it to number eight because you've not activated that one yet so that will stay as it is um, but if you press number one again and try and reset that by pressing number one it's not going to work because that's the safety cut off switch there so the next one would be number eight which is this one here so once you've activated that I'll just show you number eight then comes into play so that's number eight there you see all that Sa the safety line has now opened that so then if you press the wrong digit that can get around to number eight to reset number one and number eight but it's not going to get to number nine because number nine has a safety switch there also and again if you press number eight again now it doesn't matter it's not going to reset number eight and then mess the whole digit process up because the power to number eight has now been cut off there so it can't get through because you've activated it how's the wife coming uh, so then nine and right instead of pressing two and open it what we'll do is that's the wife is we'll press a wrong digit to reset the whole thing so we'll press so number seven so you can hear the piston but that's the whole thing now reset back to its normal so if you press a wrong digit it's not going to work you know you can't just random press and hold for the best you've got to get the right four digits in the right order for this thing to open or it will not open because of the safety cutoffs um so yeah that is my combination lock if i do get enough likes i will do a tutorial it only takes literally 20 minutes to build it 25 um to build it so one eight nine two and then going through to reset the whole thing see and it's let us say it's impossible to get wrong it works absolutely perfect ah, yeah. okay so that's that thanks for watching like and subscribe